اتش اس اس مايل ستون 3 نيم سلطان حميد الزعابي كلاس 101 سي اي اي اند اي دي 20131999940 اي ديدنت ايدنتيفاي ذا ميجر تايبس اوف ليرنينج اوديتوري اند ميوزيكال ليرنرز فيجوالز اند سبيشال ليرنر فيربال اند لوجيكال اند ماثيماتيكال فيزيكال اور كينستيك سوشيال اند انتر بيرسونال اند ار other visual learners, auditory learners, kinesthetic learners, reading, writing learners. Identify the neutrons, uh, the neutral uh, stimulus and conditions, stimuli, stimuli and responses and conditions, stimuli and classical conditioning. Neutral stimulus. A neutral stimulus is a stimulus which uh, initially produces no specific responses other than focusing attention in classical conditioning when used together with an unconditioned stimulus the neutral stimulus becomes a conditioned stimulus the difference between unconditioned and a neutral stimulus and unconditioned stimulus elects a natural uh, reflexive uh, response called the unconditioned response UCR a stimulus that doesn't naturally elect a response is a natural response the, the bell sound is hence a neutral stimulus unconditioned stimulus response and conditioned stimulus in classical condition in classical conditioning an unconditioned response is an unlearned response that occurs in reaction to the unconditioned stimulus For example, if the uh, if the smell of food is the unconditioned stimulus, the feeling of hunger is in response to the smell of food is un- is the unconditioned uh, response. And here is a picture that can show you if you didn't understand the writing. Explain how a neutral stimulus becomes ca- capab- capab- capable of evoking a response through pairing with unconditioned stimulus by giving examples. The unconditioned stimulus is one that unconditionally, naturally, and automatically triggers a response for. Example, when you smell one of your favorite foods, you may immediately feel very hungry. In this example, the smell of the food is unconditioned stimulus. How can you apply the principles of classical conditioning and operant conditioning to uh, uh, alter human behavior? The influence of classical conditioning can be seen in uh, responses such as phobis, digest, nausea, anger, and sexual arousal. A familiar example is conditioned nausea, is which the sight or smell of a particular food causes nausea because it caused stomach upset in the past. Explain the principles of operant conditioning and give examples. Skinner operant conditioning is a form of learning in which the motivation of a behavior happens after the behavior is demonstrated or reinforcement, positive or negative, increases like uh, increases the likelihood likelihood of behavior or response. All punishment, positive or negative, decreases the likelihood of a behavior response. Example. Uh, in operant conditioning, organisms learn uh, to associate a behavior and its consequence. A pleasant consequence may, m- makes that behavior more likely to be repeated in the future. For example, spirit, a dolphin at the National Aquarium in Baltimore draws a flip in the air when trainers b- blows a whistle.